your hands and we'll get the mic to you. You've had a good amount of success this season as a blitzer getting to the quarterback. What do you as a defensive back think has allowed that to be a, that to happen to where you as a defensive back are able to pressure the quarterback so well? Uh, I really think it's all in the game plan. Um, great credit to uh, Coach Smart, Coach Mushev, and Coach Schumann. They drop a, a great game plan for me coming out the edge. And, uh, you know, it's allowed me to make uh, plays and things like that. But um, well, I feel like it's more so in the game plan than actually me actually coming off and making plays for myself. So you have a chance to become the second player in Baltimore history to repeat as a uh, as a second two-time national champion. Uh, Maurice Hurt was the last one at Florida yeah. in 2006 and 2008. Do you have any relationship with him? And have you you know reached, did he reach out to you? Uh, I talked. I talked to uh, Coach. Hurt. Well, I call him Coach because uh, actually at Ball he actually came back and helped uh, coach us for a little bit. So I talked to Maurice a lot. Um, I actually talked to him through Instagram. I got his number, so we talk uh, frequently. We talk all the time, and uh, he just telling me how proud he is of me, and, and like he just didn't know that I looked up to him for a long time. So uh, it's always good, you know what I'm saying, to make history, not only for uh, this university, but especially in your city. Javon, looking at your play this year, how much progress do you feel like you've made and the impact you've been able to make on the season? Uh, I feel like I've progressed pretty good uh, over the uh, two years that I've been here. Um, it's all in preparation. I feel like that was the biggest thing from last year to this year, um, knowing that you have to take on a bigger role and uh, knowing that the guys that we lost last year, um, just knowing that I had a, a bigger role in this defense and embracing that role. And everybody, all of us had different roles that we had to embrace and like, everybody just buying in, myself included, just buying into my role and um, it all kind of fell in together. You know, given you guys played in this game last year, you played in Atlanta earlier this year. What's this team's comfort level of making that trip and playing in Mercedes-Benz Stadium? Uh, we take a lot of pride in it. Um, it is, we feel like this is, this is uh, University of Georgia, this is our state. We take a lot of pride in playing in the stadium. Um, like you said, we played in it earlier this year. Um, we played in it last year. So like it means a lot to us you know, to be, um, come out here and be victorious in this game. What stands out to you about Jaden Daniels and the challenge that it's going to be going up against him, a quarterback? Uh, great quarterback, great athlete. Yeah, um, we I was watching him um, on film, man, explosive guy, um, can, and can make a play in any second. So we just got to be tuned into that and try to limit that. I know this is a new year, different team than last year, and y'all aren't you know, feeling like you have to defend last year's national championship, but do you feel like that's put any bigger of a target on y'all's back this year? Uh, I wouldn't say a target, but it's definitely a chip on our shoulder. I'd be lying to you if I say we didn't really think about it, because um, we're not trying to be last year's team. That's the biggest thing. I feel like that's the biggest difference from this year's team and last year's team is that we're not really looking in their shadows. We're just trying to be the best team that we could possibly be. So um, we take it one game at a time, and. Uh, through the preparation, it seems like it works uh, the best way for us. So we just try to do the same thing each and every week. Hey, Javon. Um, you really hit the ground running this year. You can really call this your breakout season. I was wondering if a year ago you could see yourself playing in the position you are now, the role you have, and having the effect you have on this game or this team. Uh, I wouldn't say that I could, you know what I'm saying, see exactly the things that I've been doing, but um, it's, all, it's all in God's plan, man. I feel like... Um, we all have a story that we, you know, I need to fulfill that the gut, like the Lord has out for us, and so uh, I'm just trying to uh, continue to write my story, man. Yeah, Zion, Zion talked a lot about uh, you, the defensive line, kind of leaning on each other a little bit more with some of those guys that left, you know, being gone, right? So maybe on the, have you seen that as much in the secondary too, where some of you guys coming in, you guys had to lean on each other more as well? Oh yes, uh, I feel like we play as a unit, man. That's that's the thing with this defense. It's kind of like a help me help you defense. It's not, you know what I mean, one guy gets all the fame, one guy gets all the glory. We, we all, uh, when, when one guy does something wrong, it can lead to a, a huge play. And when we all do it right, it's, it's beautiful. So like, this is a help me help you defense. And I feel like we kind of lean on each other. We took uh, ownership in that. 
just knowing what we had to do doing our job. Like we got a, a saying in there this week, job one, job two, job three. And everybody just doing your job and knowing that if you do your job, we'll be all right. Javon, what's the sense of urgency because you guys are already considered to be kind of in the playoff? You know, does that take some of the edge off? No. Nah, not at all. Um, we <laughs> we attack the week just like we attack the other week. Attack this game just like we attack the other game. It's the same thing. Um, we're doing the same thing. We still have the same type of practice. Practices, um, the energy still there. Uh, if anything, it's more energy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't think it's not nothing's off at all. What has stood out to you about how the outside linebackers have played since no one got hurt? Um, together, connected. Um, because you never know. Um. Like when a player like Nolan goes down, and you know people always think like it's the end of the world. But you know what I'm saying Nolan has been a great as on, on the field as he is off the field. Like um, Nolan is always there. He's in the meetings. He's still Nolan. Still uh, loud. He still communicates. Still giving out information. So um, Nolan is helping the outside linebacker room just that, like he would on when he was on the field. So and those <clears> guys <throat> play great, man. Uh, Chaz, Robert, Marvin, all those guys play great, man. Sharon. So like they play together, and we like I said, it's to help me help you deep. As long as they do their job, we know that everything will seem to work out by itself. Javon, Jaden Daniels gets a uh, gets a lot of credit and rightfully so towards his LSU offense. But what have you been able to see from the wideouts, uh, especially in LSU's offense, and what they're able to bring to the table? Uh, I love their wideouts. I think they're a very explosive group, um, very fast, very quick, um, great acceleration as I've seen on film. I think it's a great challenge for us. Um, like I said, uh, it's a great group, uh, great athletes, very athletic. Um, but like I said, we just got to lock in on the preparation that we got this week and, and challenge them. Any other questions? All right, thank you. Thanks, Javon.